Okay, so this is going to be how you are going to do the competition hair for Infinity Dance Center. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get all your hair out of the way and just brush it and make sure you have no knots in it because it's kind of hard to do stuff if you find a knot in your hair. So make sure you have no knots in your hair. So the next thing you're going to do is, so you have your hair all there and I'm going to take a comb. It kind of has one of these weird like metal things on the end of it so i usually go from the middle of the eyebrow and go straight up making sure you can see that go straight up and then so you have a perfect line you can see the line and everything right here and do that on both sides so you have the perfect bump for your hair because we are doing the bump at this point i'd say do a little bit more than this because you need more than that so so this is going to be your hair for the bump so you can grab your hair or your daughter's hair or if you're doing someone else's hair your hair grab it here tie it off with a rubber band so just take a rubber band and tie it so it's out of the way and then grab all this hair and put it in a ponytail so it's out of the way okay now it's the part when a whole lot of hairspray comes in so you're going to take out this whole ponytail right here just this ponytail do not take your little unicorn out and just leave this here and you are going to take your rubber bands and you're going to take a whole lot of gel like it's it's hairspray but not at the same time just like gel and um actual like hairspray i recommend the aussie instant freeze hairspray because this works really well and it makes your hair stay stiff and so it stays in i've been in a competition for a long time and i know that works really well so i'm going to be taking these products and this brush it works really well rachel recommended it it's by brush strokes and it's so you can pick up all your hair and smooth it down so yeah i'm gonna take this and I'm going to slowly pick up my hair and start slicking it back into a high ponytail to be right, like, way up here. It's not a low ponytail. It's, like, really high up. It's probably only, like, two to three inches. It'll only be, like, two to three inches away from your bump. Get your hairspray and start spraying. And you're going to take your brush and you're going to start slicking it back so you make sure that it is slick and looking good for a competition because you don't want a whole lot of flyaways because it's not attractive on stage okay i'm looking kind of crazy right now but this is what it should look like as soon as you get at least the ponytail slicked back so it is all slicked and it's just slicked back with tons of hairspray so you need to wrap around the ponytail like quite a few times and i actually use two just in case to make sure it is perfectly secure and now what i'm gonna do is take even more hairspray to make sure that it is perfectly locked in and set so you know it's not gonna go anywhere i recommend doing your child's hair with it already being dirty also, feel free to use as many bobby pins or hairpins as you need. I mean, they're your friend, and they help make sure everything is locked in so it is looking sleek and ready to go for the stage. Okay, now's the time that we are going to be doing our bump. I recommend, if you can, going to Claire's and getting a bump it, or if you can get a bump it of any sort, because that might be way easier for you. Me, on the other hand, I cannot get a bump it. So for those of you who cannot get a bump it, I'm going to be showing you how to do your bump. It's fairly easy, but it might be a little bit harder for those who are starting out. Okay, so you're gonna wanna brush out your hair again, cause it may have gotten knotted while being in like a ponytail or a little bun. So what I recommend that works extremely, extremely well with this bump is the big sexy hair um it's just really good for backcombing which we're going to be having to do so what you need to do is um get your big sexy hair you're gonna take this brush once again because it has this wonderful edge over here and we're gonna need this for the backcombing so you're gonna take all your hair that is right here and take it up so we need to section it off so you can get more volume to your bump so you're gonna slowly take pieces from the back 
of your bump. You're gonna move this out of the way. You can clip it or like put it in a bun or something. Taking this big sexy hair product and I shook it up. So now I'm gonna take this squeezer and I'm going to apply that all behind my hair. Now I'm going to do a lot of back, this back homage and just do the same steps um, a little further and further and so on. You need to make sure you leave a tiny bit for the outside because you don't want to see this on the outside that doesn't look really good so I'm going to take this last bit and I'm going to use my comb right here so I'm going to slowly comb this and flatten it into a beautiful bump so see how it doesn't look as bad so now I'm going to be taking bobby pins smoothing it so I have this right here but now I'm going to puff it up a little bit Make sure it's in your head. Okay, this is what it looks like when the bump is done. Don't worry, it might take a few tries. I mean, it's hard to do, and I recommend starting makeup and hair like quite a few hours before you actually have to leave, just in case, you know, if you're kind of freaking out and you need to get this hair um, finished and you don't want a tight crunch if you don't know what you're doing for your hair. So make sure you have enough time to do your hair. So next, we are going to be taking all this extra hair that's just chilling right here and add it into the ponytail. So you're gonna take your, another ponytail, doesn't matter what color, just, I wouldn't do white because you wanna make sure it matches. And carefully, really, 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 really carefully add. And you're gonna carefully put in the ponytail because there's a chance that you might even pull your bump out and you do not want that to happen. So be careful with those strands of hair that are connected to the bump because you don't want to pull it back and then you lose your bump. I mean, that's not very fun because then you have to do it all over again and then that's a waste of time. So just be really careful when you're adding your hair. And if that happens, like it did a little bit right here, what I can do is take a brush like this or an end and you just add the volume back. And if you have to repin or add pins, then do so as needed. And I recommend as soon as it feels tight, add four more just in case, because you never know what could happen. I mean, you're going on stage and your kid could be turning or doing something and it might come out and you do not want that to happen. So just add more just in case. So now you are with your ponytail. Okay, now's when it is time for the bun. So you can go two separate ways. You can go bun form way or hairigami way. I'm not so good at the bun form way. I mean, it's kind of hard for me because my hair is longer and has some weird textures to it. So I'm going to be using the hairigami. So I'm gonna show you how to use the hairigami. So what you're gonna do is open it, make sure it is all ready to go. It's like the snap bracelets. So you need to make sure it's up and ready to go. This might take a few tries, but it don't worry, it comes out with perfect buns. So you're going to take this thing, I'm gonna go to the side, and you are going to tighten all the hair. And now you're going to slowly, ever so slowly, bring it in. And you are going to snap it in. And this is what it looks like right now, it's kind of, messed up but I can redo it and then you just bring all your hair around and this is what it looks like okay so now this is the time is when you need a hairnet you need a hairnet it is necessary because you need to make sure all your flyaways such as all these right here get into a bonnet and so it's not a very ugly bun because we don't want an ugly bun like that we want a very pretty bun Oops. So you just wrap it around it and make sure all the hairs are secured into it. It's pretty explanatory. I'm just gonna put all kinds of pins into my hair. So I'm good to go. I put way more, but for the purpose of this video, I'm not going to. So now is the time kids might hate. 
um, need to apply hairspray all over their hair so it stays. So 